King has returned. What's good with your social media? What's good with you? What's happening? I'm trying to see if this thing working online. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. I'm, before we start struggle streaming, let me find out something right fast. Hold on. Let me try to make sure everything working out right. Yep, you know what? I think we good. I think we good. So, for everybody that I'm chopping up with, man, y'all already know what it's looking like. Basically, the title says everything. I'm finna let y'all know about what's happening with the Jeep and the Red Bull Crosses. This is just my personal opinion now. This is just my personal opinion. Now don't don't shoot the messenger now. Don't don't shoot the messenger. This just this just how I feel. This just how this just how your boy feel. What's up with your new dog, man? What's good with you, baby? I see you on here on Instagram, man. I'm chopping up with y'all. Y'all know what this is, man. So basically, let me go on ahead and start. Let me start this off by sitting and telling you off top. This your boy Nick Love and the K9 Proceeds. And since I'm back out here today, I'm finna chop it up with you about how to start a kit to the Bulldogs as exactly who they are. Specifically the Jeep Red Bull Bulldogs. Now this is just in my opinion. In my opinion, I feel like those dogs are the type of dog that could be made for any and everybody. That's just my personal opinion. You take it how you want. It don't take no type of intelligence to understand that to understand them type of dogs. No type of intelligence. You can just get it. And move from there. They don't need no type of they don't need no type of worker hands. Yeah. Pretty much them dogs don't need no type of worker hands to help them out if they already ain't a good dog on as is. So from where I'm coming from today in this stream, I plan on letting y'all know about every single not every single one, but most of the Jeep most of the Jeep Red Boy dogs. Not any, not any specific ones now. Not any, not no specific ones. I ain't, gonna, I am not finna sit and specifically talk about Tab or Tramp or nothing like that. I'm not gonna mention nothing like that specifically. But what I am gonna talk about is the dogs coming down from them that people do use. Now the people use those in, in, for their program, cause let me see here. Because you can see, like, my whole thing, I guess you can say my fuss or gripe is based off the individuals who hop on these dogs. It's based off the individuals that hop in the dog game randomly. And all they know is the Jeep Red Bull dogs. It's all they know. They know the game dog, and they know a durable dog. Now, it's nothing wrong with that, but that's all that they've been taught. What they've been taught is just game dogs, specifically is Red Bull dogs. Durable dog is specifically G bred dogs. Now, the situation a lot of people been taught is literally they just don't know. So they pretend to know everything because that particular bloodline, it makes another novice person think that they know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever come across somebody like that? What's up with you, Martinez? So they able to skate off with the unintelligence of the public that they trying to pretty much interact with to escape as if they know what they're speaking about and they really don't it don't take no effort to get you a jeep dog it don't take no effort to get you a red boy dog history has shown that those animals put together make the complete package dogs you want a red boy dog that's a that's a dog that's going to be running that, that that's a dog that can breathe underwater you want your jeep dog most of those dogs are specifically made to be durable animals put them dogs together you have the complete package. You have the complete and utter package that it ain't going to be too many people that can pretty much, that don't know what they're doing, that can hang with those type of animals because they come out ready-made. They almost like a, they like Legos, but but the Legos for the level one, that's what those dogs is like. Now, don't get it twisted. Them dogs actually are very good animals off top. Like, them dogs are good animals What's up with you, Waki? Those dogs are good animals from the jump in anybody's hands. They're, they're the perfect machine in the hands of an expert. But in the hands of a novice, they'll make someone else who doesn't know anything about the dogs, they'll make you think that them individuals know what they're doing. They can, they can fool you. They can fool you. So I'm not I'm not here to talk about specifically the tab dogs or the tramp dogs. I'm I'm here to talk about those breedings as a collective because those in the, those dogs pretty much made other namesakes 
like the Red Boy Dog himself was what he was from the seventies, and Jeep was what he was from like the late seventies, early eighties. That's pretty much what he, what those animals were. But in the process of them animals being what they are, they wind up making other programs better because some one, a few programs was lacking things left and right. And if you wind up putting those animals in your program, you wind up gaining whatever you didn't know you lost or you wind up you know, gaining a loss that you was looking to, uh, to get back from. Me personally, I'm not a, I'm not a Red Boy fan at all, n at all. I'm not even really a Jeep fan, really. I'm, a, I'm mostly an Eli dog just because I like those animals because they take, they take some tinkering to get, a, to get an understanding for them. They take tinkering to get an understanding. You got to really put some effort into trying to tweak them the best you can because having just a one-off animal, you realize that you're kind of missing something. So you got to play around with the insides of what you already have if you want to stay there. Now, don't get it twisted. A Red Boy enhancement into any type of bloodline will help it. A Jeep enhancement to any type of bloodline is going to help it regardless. I just most likely steer clear from those because – those animals didn't give me exactly what I was wanting. Like some of the Jeep dogs, honestly, they was ugly. You no know, little, little heavy mouths almost, little long jowls. They, they, I didn't like their look all the time. Not all of them, just some of them. Some of the more famous ones, like let's say, you know, to me personally, Tab was an ugly dog. Weirdo was definitely an ugly dog. But those individual dogs made good they made good animals like look at blackjack look at weird jack weird jack kind of funny looking too but just look at those animals and you can tell that this particular jeep when it was crossed specifically let's put the the, uh, the jeep with the uh let, let, let's put weird jack this pretty much the jeep the rascal blood which is an eli dog they wound up sticking the rascal over the jeep blood which is pretty much the kobe eli dog but they wound up putting him over some rascal blood, which wound up tightening the dogs and make them a little bit more missile, missile-like looking. I liked how those looked. I still wouldn't want. I still wouldn't want it personally, even though I still dabble with some of that in in my program. I was able to notice that the animals that was coming from a specific type of red boy blood, that particular blood would really take over the gene pool, and I mean, it it would really take over the gene pool. A whole lot, which which always made me want to shy from it because they was lacking something that I wasn't really trying to keep trying to chase or try to fix every single time. Even though they wind up giving you something that you may or may not have had, you this, this particular bloodline of Red Boy, which is not even a famous name of uh, bloodline, I think I I think I can find it. It's not even a famous uh, it's not even a famous piece of bloodline that's out there. It's just a red boy that an uh, individual wound up having. He ended up u utilizing it very well. And in the process of utilizing it, we was able to see how those dogs took over a whole breeding program. And I mean took it over. They took away all the good things from this particular program that people was running, which made it to where I wanted to steer clear from what that was. Now, matter of fact, let me let me – Let's do a little screen share. So let, let me let me pull up a screen share right fast so we can see what we're looking like. Hold on. Let me see right here. There we go. Now, this right here is Red Boy. This right here himself is Red Boy himself. Hold on. Let's let's see what my man Honey Boy is talking about. Let me let me pull this up right fast. Cause I don't want to miss what nobody's speaking of. I feel it. Real rough and do it. All through that, through Tab, Hey, make a stone wall. The Jeep blood. That's what my man Honey Bunch say. He liked this stuff right here. There's nothing wrong with it. I like it too What other people got it. I like how other people utilize that because it look good when they know what they're doing. I'm just used to seeing a lot of rookies that came in and they're not here no more, but they wind up looking very damn good with those Jeep Red Boy dogs. Now, the stone wall dogs are a little bit different because of uh, – they, that was more of the honey bunch type stuff, but I, I like that individual. I like those dogs. I like those dogs. How other people had. I know a couple people who still kind of run a little bit of it right now. But I, I understand. I, I do understand the tab. The tab stuff made a big name. The tramp stuff made even. No, nah, the, the tab made a big name. The tramp, even though they're little mates. But 
I, I understood why people was flocking to them dogs. They was easy to do. They was pretty much like like a coloring book, like a, a child's coloring book. All you got to do is stand in lines. And the line was just a circle. It, it didn't have lines on the inside. That's, what I, that's how I seen the Jeep Red Boy dogs. Hold on, let me, let me see what my man Martinez is talking about. Let me feel you here. In my opinion, if someone has a random family of bloodline, they really can be an expert on the line. You, correct. Um, Martinez, you damn right. If you ain't ran a family of bloodline, you can't be an expert. You can be knowledgeable, but you can't be an expert. Good looking at that. If everybody trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm getting a couple of uh, inboxes. I'm actually streaming on YouTube and Instagram. So if you're on Instagram and you want to see me on YouTube, you can do that. But if not, I'm, we all good. See, look at my, my, man, my man there, the Honey Bunch man. I have my best and top dog in Mansfield if you're coming. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be there because I'm coming to do video work and I want to see a couple of animals as well. But let me go and put this back together. This right here what we're dealing with. what I do? Yeah, this right here what we're dealing with on, on the screen right here. This is Red Boy. This is a dog that was made in the 70s. This dog made his name in the 70s. He was born in the 70s. Now, look, think about this here. From the, from the 70s. What did I do? Yeah, from the 70s to the 2023, this line, this particular dog is still prevalent to today. Now, if we take a look, another look up here, that's Jeep. That's a dog that was born in the 70s. Both of these dogs from the 70s, and they are still prevalent today. Today, exactly today. In 2023, people are still utilizing these animals in 2023 right now. Now, if we sit and play around, because I'm, I'm a, I like, I like pedigrees. I like pedigrees a whole lot. I know about, I know about dealing with pedigrees before I was even paying attention to the dogs. So let's, let's go in here. We can see a couple of what it is. But, but before we do, hold on, before we do, let me go on here. See this here. This is Finley Bow. That's his daddy. Honey Bunch. That's his daddy. Now this particular dog, Finley Bow. This is a Kobe dog. This is pretty much a Kobe dog, and I've I've seen those dogs. No, firsthand. I've seen them dogs firsthand. I, I like them dogs a whole damn lot. Have you ever seen an original Kobe dog? Have you ever seen an original Kobe dog? Though, those, how can I put this here? An original working Kobe dog, in my opinion, those are, um, they're indestructible. Those animals are completely indestructible. I've seen them firsthand do a lot of work. I seen them firsthand do a lot of work when I was younger, man. Those, those are some really indestructible dogs. If if they brought the best, it's, it's nothing gonna handle them animals. But let's go on here and put this together. No, this is a Kobe dog. Line him up over a, a Eli dog. This is pretty much an Eli dog. People forget that this dog is a, has Eli in him. This Jeep, I don't consider him an Eli dog at all. I really, I really don't. He just, I consider him to be just himself. I consider Jeep to be just him himself. But then when we turn around and put up the red boy dog, you look at the red boy. This, if this pedigree is correct, because we all know it's a little bit shaky with this. If his pedigree correct, he's a Kobe dog as well. He is a he's a Kobe dog as well. And when you stick both of these animals together, you end up getting what you have, which is the Jeep red boy line of dogs. And people don't pay attention to how the pedigrees line up, which I do. I, I understand why they're working so well. But what makes them even more better than what people notice is that those animals were able to evolve into anybody's program. So let's say somebody wanted the, a red boy dog. Hold on, let's, let me go and put this together. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this together. Let me put this together. Hold on, people. Let me see something. I think I messed up. Hold on, people. Hold on. Here we go. Now we we back we back in it, man. I, I wound up messing up a little bit, but I'm finna try to put this back. But either way, go. When you look at Jeep, you look at the breeding they wind up making off the dog. We ain't worried about him being bred you no know, to every damn thing. We ain't worried nothing about that. We just gonna look at what he what he's put together. And pretty much when they bred Jeep to Tabby Girl, let's look at her. This is Marlo's Tabby Girl, and this is the line bred Jeep dog. Even though the daddy ain't no double bred on this, is pretty much line bred Jeep dog. This is these. Th uh, these are what made 
the most famous animals kind of currently right now. You know, this right here, Dog Tab, no Little Mate Brother, no Tramp. Them was some ugly ass dogs. I'm not gonna lie. Them, they, this, this, them was that was some ugly dogs. I wasn't a big fan of how they looked, but, but you can sit and look at, you know, those animals, made the best of what it was, and people wind up making good dogs down from them. People end up making a whole lot of good dogs down from them. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Hold on, let me see some. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me now? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on, keep 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 it quiet. I'm, I'm gonna put you in. I'm gonna put you in right fast. Just go and listen up. Here we go. Now, basically, pretty much the dog type yeah. is the dog that I like the whole. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the dog type is, is what was like the whole. Yeah, thing. yeah. And he was the one that made a lot of good stuff. He made a he made a whole lot of good animals. Based off of pretty much his breeding, which is the Jeep Red Boy dog. People don't pay attention to the to the type of uh, pedigrees it was, but whenever they put that that pretty much super combo together of an animal, they end up making an animal who could function for anybody, who could function for anybody. And since they could function for anybody, they wind up making you think that they know what they're doing, even though anyone who had an understanding of the dogs knew for a fact that those people are just fly by nights. I like seeing those individuals because I want to see how good that dog is. Even though I wouldn't dabble with a Jeep Red Boy dog at all, I like seeing those animals because those animals work in anybody's hands. They work in anybody's hands. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and put this together. Let me see if I can run this back right fast. When those dogs are made, at the best they can be made, everything messing up. That's fine. We go ahead and get you. Here we go. When those dogs are made at the best that they can be made, nobody can handle them animals. Those are very good animals. They work solo by themselves without no help. And the people who can help, everybody call when I'm on the phone. <laughs> I'm not even on the phone. Yeah. And the people who can help, they figured it out. It's a lot of big names that y'all follow right now who, when I was noticing them, they didn't really know what they was doing. When I was looking at their pedigrees and I was looking at the animals they was having, that they were selling off to the public, I could tell that they had no idea what they was doing. And also, I was young. I didn't know what they was doing either. But that I could, for me being younger than them and observing them, I could tell they don't really know what they're doing at all. Hindsight is twenty twenty. I can see right now that it was a lot of good animals that came through a lot of people's hands, bred like that, that that was just awesome animals. Even though they was in the hands of novices and they was in the hands of people who don't know what the hell they're doing, those animals were completely awesome. No hindsight knows 2020. You can see it back then. But I remember seeing individuals who had certain animals that was bred the Jeep Red Bull way. And they was really performing at a high caliber, but they was performing at a high caliber with people who didn't know what the hell they had. Fast forward, I can see now those dogs didn't belong in the hands of the people who had them. But if those dogs were in the hands of, let's say, the more experienced handlers, they may have went on to be you no know, probably better producers as well as being great dogs. Because it's a lot of Jeep Red Boy dogs that we seen personally. They were Jeep Red Boy crosses, but it was predominantly no three-quarter dogs. They wasn't really 50-50s. They were usually three-quarter dogs or 100% Jeep Red Boy animals. We watched them dogs go on to make just marvelous lifestyles. They, they wound up being just the greatest that you can pretty much have an understanding to see. And so I'm just pretty much venting that a lot of y'all who like those animals, you have every right to like them. But a lot of individuals who probably put you on to them, they probably don't know what they got. Most likely they don't know what they got. And if you're following them and they're telling you they have the best of this, the best of that, they, they, may, they may have it. I can't sit and say they do or they don't. They may or may not have it. But I would sit and say if you're interested in the Jeep Red Bull line of dogs, pay attention to who you're speaking to about it and also pay attention to what they're trying to sell you. Because I've been seeing a lot of individuals who are sitting and tell you they have sperm off of 
X amount of dog. Now, I'm not finna sit and say which dogs they have because I know for full fledged, they're f- they're lying. <laughs> I know for full everything that those individuals are lying to your face because I remember when I remember when those dogs were born. I remember when those dogs made the name, and I remember when those dogs ended up dying. And I also remember that the people in the camps who had those particular dogs, they weren't thinking about long term of breeding. They wasn't thinking about doing any type of uh, semen collection back then because even though semen collection is pretty big today even though it's pretty big today it's, it was nowhere near that big back then and I can tell you from just experience right now to collect semen off an animal today in 2023 this is going to run you about maybe a thousand dollars max or in that ballpark range and if that's the case and you got a dog that was born in the 70s and he wound up dying in the in the late eighties, and he had children who was born in the early eighties, and they ended up dying in the. I'm sorry, he he got children who were born in the mid to late eighties, and they ended up dying in the mid to late nineties. Do you really feel that the individuals today in 2023 have sperm off of those dogs? from the 90s now think about it the camps who had those animals they weren't well off financially all of them not all of them a a few of them had the money to do what they were doing but think about it you got to look at interest rate and you got to look at inflation a thousand dollars today was the equivalent of i don't even know let me i don't even know what the interest rate is but if it's a thousand dollars a day and a particular camp is selling puppies today for six hundred, eight hundred dollars. Do you think that they had at least four or five thousand dollars in the nineties to collect sperm off a dog that they don't know could do what? Do you think? I may be wrong. I I may be wrong. I have no idea, man. I don't. Re- not that I don't give a damn. I'm just trying to put you on this. The starter kit works for anybody, but a lot of people didn't recognize their starter kit in the 90s. They just recognized that they was living in the moment. Not too many people was able to sit and capture that particular moment and go on to 2023 and have something available for the public. And so if you're thinking that they have something available for you from the 90s, It's a bridge that, that, that it's it's a lot of bridges that can be sold in a desert. You know what I'm saying? So this is just me giving my insight to you about how I feel of the starter kids, man. Anybody can get that dog. Anybody can have those dogs. Anybody can use those dogs and look magnificent. But take heed to the individuals who run other things outside of that. Those other bloodlines take a little bit of finesse and a little bit of chest work. You got to figure out how to tinker that. As to where the Jeep Redboy dogs, you can just hop in and go. That's like a Lego set that just snapped together. And you, 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 can, you can pretty much Lego set your house and put it together. You ain't got, it, it don't need no screws. Don't need no tools. Just snap and go. That's what the Jeep Redboy dogs is. And if you don't want to work, get that dog. I would suggest anybody get that type of animal and you can hit the strip. And you can get to rolling and moving. But if you want to have a little bit of an understanding of what you're doing, to have some say-so, to, to feel as if you're knowledgeable in what you're doing. You hear me? Yeah. Okay, okay, man. Cut your stuff in the background, damn, man. Cause we live right now. Yeah, I can hear you, man. You make it up. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Am I breaking up? We good? Yeah, the phone's down low. Hold on, let me let me see something right fast. The phone's down real low. What about now? I'm gonna go and move all this. Yeah, I heard you say what about now? So you hearing that right now? Yeah, I can hear you. Turn up, turn your turn up, turn your turn up, turn up. Let me, let me yeah. turn my stuff up. Here we go. Okay. What about now? We should we should be okay for now. We should be okay for now. Am I coming in and out or can you hear me pretty good? Uh, you came in good like uh, 
you said, am I coming in? Uh, okay, good. I had to move the microphone up a little more closer. There we go now, baby. <laughs> well, since I got yeah. my man on the line right now, I want y'all to understand and hear his particular reason of what he considers that. Now, before you got online, we've always spoke about this here. What do we call the Jeep Red Boy Dogs? Oh, uh, man, it's all the kid, man. That shit. <laughs> That should that should get in that should get in card. <laughs> get you right get you right in the back door, don't it, boy? Oh no no, it gets you. Oh uh, yeah, door. it gets you in the front door. Oh uh, yeah, man, it put you right in there, man. So give me give me a couple of famous little red, Jeep Red Boy dogs. Cause I I already gave them a little bit of insight, but give a little bit of insight of the Jeep Red Boy dogs you remember from back in the gap when we was younger. Shit, it was so many of them, they flooded the market, man. Yeah, they, <laughs> man, they did the cow- favorite groceries, man. They, um, basically, shit, I remember AC, I remember Grand Champion AC, um, man, the, the Pro Line, Mercy, Dogs, man, Made an Impact, um, so I remember the Tab, Dogs, man. Fucking berserk all over the country at one time, man. I mean, here yeah, they look at your red boy shit, that old classic shit. Keep running like old trucks, man. My folks keep putting them shoes up, lacing them up. Just like the Cortez, boy, the dope man. <laughs> yeah, man. Put them boys. Man, I'll tell you, tell you, there's no skills for a novice to, to get into them. See, you know, like I said, it's like pain. Yeah, you coloring. Yeah, I take it up. We'll say coloring. See, look, Some look, people look, like. Said this. <laughs> yeah, some people like the color with regular pale. Some people like the color with water paint. Some people like the color with pastel. You know, I some people only like to do it with crayons. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I, man, I already said this. I already said this. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't like to do it with crayons, man, that's okay. You still get your picture color. You know what I mean? Yep. Look at. And you, it, you ain't even got to stay in the lines because there's no lines on the inside. Long as you stay in the lines, it's on the outside with that one circle. You good to go. Yeah, that's it. Man, see, this this is what I was telling everybody about. I was sitting there telling about how the Jeep Red Boy dogs how no, we don't bother with it because of the Red Boy, the specific Red Boy we wound up seeing back in the gap that was that would overtake a bloodline. It would overtake the bloodline. And just saturate, which pretty much scared the hell out of me when I seen them dogs. You remember them Edmondson dogs? Them them little red boy dogs would overtake every damn thing. And since they would overtake everything, it made it to where I didn't want no parts of them type of red boy dogs whatsoever. Well, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like I said, we we you know, we seen it to a point where it could do two things, and we knew it, it could definitely be. Present itself as so strong that it it could take away from the other parts of you know the whole puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. It take away from. Yeah, it take you backwards. And once you and once it hop in there, you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, y'all know what you is complaining with that stuff, but like I say, shit, it take really no skill to use or something. And so if yeah. if it if it take no skill to use it, how is it so many people are able to utilize this shit? Uh, say it again if you step on the low again. I say if it doesn't take no type of skill to get these dogs and be something pre- prevalent in it, how is it today that anybody can get in there and look like a, look like they know what they're doing? Oh, man, shit, it's because it was, man, it was the way the game had went at the time, you know what I'm saying? And when the, when, when the legit true fantasies were abundant in the game, you know, back in the early 2000s, later 90s, man, when, when shit hit the fan in the game, man, it was, <laughs> a lot, it, it was bloodlines that was at the height at the time when the, you know, the, the, the shit started co- coming down, and it was bloodlines that were making their way up to the top. And it was some, you know, G. Red was one of the ones at the top, man. It was, it was already in full swing at the height of the game, and it was at its legitimacy before all the, you know, governing bodies and everything shut down, and everybody had to go get the fuck out the way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what's even more wild is that this here is the 
2023. Jeep was dog born in the 70s. That shit still making noise today. Today. Say it again. I said Jeep was a dog that was born in the 70s. It's 2023 and people still use those bloodlines today strongly. Yeah. As a matter of fact, my man Honey Bunch said to say all red boy dogs to take over. Except Cottenham, which is what it which is what it is. You said all of them what now? He said all the red boy bloodlines to take over when you breed them, except for Cottenham. Which is what it is. Oh, I mean, she, she, he clearly know a little something. Yeah, my man know. A he know, he, he know the coming there. Yeah, he know the coming there. Um, take over. And like you say, if you don't know what you're doing with that shit, it'll take over. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Like that. That's real. Hunt, hunt, I rock with the honey bunch, man. He know what he's talking about because. The cat. Yeah, I think the second a, time I heard you mention that cat, man. I think, yeah, I think that cat coming. Yeah, I got it, got it. Uh, here to the street, man. You know what's up? Yeah, I mean, as you can see, you sitting, you you sitting, read his uh his his chat. He know what he did, he did with the Stonewall and everything. I mean, we we gonna respect that. No, he he like his little Jeep Red Boy dogs. Even though I be talking cash about it, he like how they go. He a Stonewall man, but he's a bulldog. So we respect those type of individuals, no matter what you bring, man. As long as you like what you bring and you true to it, we love it. Oh yeah, man. Like I said, man. You know, again, everything is shit. You know, ain't no line under the sun, ain't nobody put their hands on, man. Like I said, if you can get it from, you know, reputable stores, man, it's just it's so hard, to, you know, when, hell, when everybody rocking polo, man, it's hard to know where to get the quality polo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want the so, that big ass logo, huh? Yeah, you gotta go make sure you ain't getting that up. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that us for man. You don't want that USPA that shit with that old crazy shit on that man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will, it will be a little bit of an issue when you when you wind up pulling that one out of there, boy. It will be a little bit of an issue you wind up pulling that one out of there. Yeah, yeah man, that phone busting up. Oh my bad, man. My bad. It's, that that that's the microphone, man. Don't don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. Keep it rolling. Yeah, there we go. That's that's just me playing around on the microphone. I'm, I'm not even in the mic like I'm supposed to be, man. That's all. Well, I got you. You have you been doing? I hear you clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm sitting there looking at the pedigrees right now, dogs. I was telling them about the Jeep Red Boy dog. I was also letting them know about how the, the the best that I think came from it was when they had wound up putting the the, uh, the Jeep Jeep Red Boy dogs over the Rascal blood. Which pretty much made the weird Jack dog, which made the Talon dog, which made the Dino dog, all them dogs. I like that. Yeah. Cause even before yeah. me, you no know, Jeep dogs, I told them off the top, there was some ugly little dogs, man. I wasn't a fan of how they look. They was nah. no little little gouges, no little little long lips, little funny looking heads. They they didn't look all that good. They they got the job done, but they wasn't looking all that good now. Oh uh, yeah, you know, it's that you know, in this game. You know how it go, man. They, you know, you never know what that package going to come in. No, no. Man. <laughs> man, all you can do is respect it. <laughs> hey, all you can do is respect it when it come. You never know what, what the hell that package might look like. They send you that, that motherfucker. Man, and say, when they when they come in, all you can do is just sit and say, man, look what the stork brought. Because they going to bring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he going to drop it yeah, on yeah. your lap. Here you go. Yeah, yeah. So give me, give me some insight, man. What's... What's your take on the Red Boy Jeep crosses? Like, what's your take outside of them being a starter kit and for being for anybody? If you had to start over with any bloodline, would you go to that steel or would you go with something else if you didn't already know what you know now? Man, um, like I said, again, it's, some people know how to do generic things, some people know how to do specific things. You know what I mean? You got jobs that's general. <laughs> you got your jobs that's specific. You know what I mean? Or you got to, you know, and me being, knowing so much, you know, detail into the specifics of, you know, DNA bloodlines and work, man, not I wouldn't personally. But for a person that wasn't as versed as myself, shit, I'd send them to go get started so they wouldn't get Get discouraged, you know what I'm saying? Right. That, you know, I, some some shit take a little more know-how. But with that, you know, if you just beginning, man, 
you know, catch you a flavor, man. You know, start. You got to start somewhere. See, you know, I, I don't knock them for starting. You know, got to start see, somewhere. See, this, this is. I ha I haven't even said none of this, man. But you see that we pretty much like minus. I've been saying this exact same thing. It don't take much effort to figure out them animals at all. And if you don't want to learn nothing too heavy, you can do that. This it's almost like just adding. And subtracting you ain't got to do no multiplying no dividing this is adding and subtracting the, the g red boy dogs is for any novice now understand even though a novice will look good with that dog like I, like I have been stressing a novice will look good with that dog those dogs are are very compatible and very competitive animals especially in the hands of somebody who know what they're doing they become if if you pay attention to dragon ball z they like super saiyans and somebody know what they're doing with them dogs Cause they can work yeah. in the hands of anybody who don't know what they're doing. So just imagine you being an expert and you decide you want to pick. Yeah, but that's part up. of the nostalgia will make them so popular. Is that's the point? You can be a, you know what I mean. You can be real, you know, average in the knowledge of, of, of the game, and man, you can you can go get you one of them, man, and you spin it. You know what I mean? And um, but again, once you get to learning everything, you know, learn all the ins and outs of this shit and. You find out you got a Jeep Red Boy dog or Red Boy Jeep dog just like the rest of the 2.3 million motherfuckers across the United States. You realize you're in a big ass swimming pool with a thousand motherfuckers from Green Jokers all the way to experienced veterans who use it. So, I mean, to me, it's hard to, to, to impress with it because it's so. Much of it out there, so what to make yours better than the next man's? If you don't know his work personally, hell, you can get the shit from anywhere because it's all over the damn. It's easy to get, it's not hard to get. <clears throat> Period. It just is the line, ain't, you know, G Red Boy Cross and I, it's, it's been working so long that man, like I said, it's hey man, there you have it. There, there you have it. Look here, man. I can't. I couldn't stress this no better than what I'm just than, than what my man is sitting here saying. I couldn't stress this no better. It don't take effort to get them animals, but if you do know what you're doing, you no, know, you can be a real competitive force in whatever you decide to put that animal in. Period. It doesn't matter. Th those are great animals. They're better in the hands of people who know what they're doing, but they also is good enough in the hands of people who don't know at all what they're doing. Who's sitting there pretty much? What they say on the streets, they they be play pimping. This is what they doing. They they look good, but they not the best that they can be in the hands if it was you. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, man, a G Red Boy like the Glock of Guns, man. There we go. It, you know, it, 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 it's gonna go bang when you goddamn squeeze the trigger, but you know you can't act like it's just pure gun excellency. But it is reliable. You know what I mean? Like it's like the Red Boy, G Red Boy like the Glock of the Bulldogs, man. It just you know, it's reliable. It's going to work. You can get you one and you in there. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly. <laughs> but you ain't, you still that, that, but you didn't go get, uh, you know, an FN5 cell more, you know, st stuff that's, you know, more ergonomic, more, you know. Yeah, real talk. <laughs> just like that. You, you, you got something that everybody got. Not that it ain't yeah. special. You know, you just gonna have to make your special. You in the you in the pool with a whole lot of guppies or a whole lot of sharks, all y'all swimming in the same lane. So Yeah, man. You no, know, it's gonna be difficult to stand out when you have in the Jeep Red Boy dog. It's gonna be difficult to stand out because so many people who are lesser or even better than you are showing their ass with theirs. And if you don't have no marketing skills and no advertising skills about you, man, you just pretty much finna have your dog just just go out the window, man. You you might as well just leave him alone. He just a pet. No matter how great he is, he just a pet when he when you're trying to put him into the market of a of a lot of saturation and you don't know how to market that animal. Because the people who are less than you, they know how to market those dogs. And they are. That's the reason why you're noticing them everywhere. Because people who knew how to put the dog together without having to put the dog together was able to put the dog out into the public and had people thinking that they knew exactly what they was doing, even though they didn't. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
So look here, man. This your boy Nick Love and the K9 Pro. So I just wanted to chop it up with y'all for just, just for a little bit to give y'all my little personal opinion. I appreciate y'all standing online with me, you know, hearing what I'm saying. I appreciate y'all chopping up with your boy in the chat. Let me know how y'all feel. Next go around, I'm going to put together a little bit more, um, a little bit more specific. Yeah, we're going to definitely revisit this, man. We're going to revisit gonna, this, man. We're we going to hop back on here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the chat come yeah, in. we're going to revisit gonna this one. Come in online and chop it up with me, too. And y'all give me y'all personal opinion. Matter of fact, matter of fact, y'all can actually give me y'all pedigrees and let me look through them. Because you, you saw what I was doing. I was looking all up and down through pedigrees because I like looking at them. Because I get a pedigree before I will a dog firsthand. Because I kind of know what I'm looking for. So if y'all feel that your Jeep Red Boy dog is the best... <laughs> No, send it to me. Send it to me in my DM. Let me look through the pedigrees. I I, I don't want to judge it. I just want to see what you're dealing with. But until then, it's your boy Nick Love and the K9 Pro C, man. I'm going to holler at you boys later. Peace out.